What's up, everybody? This is Ryan Johnson with MoneyBass.com, and today we're going to go over one of my favorite ways to catch fish, which is the drop shot rig. Um, I'm just go over my setup of that, go through the rod, the reel, the line, the hook, the sinker, and a little bit about the baits, but the baits change up so much depending on what lake you're at. And sometimes even in one location, I may run through 10 to 15 different baits in one spot trying to figure out what those fish want to bite. So we'll kind of talk about that a little bit. Um, but also the other thing I like about this, this setup is pretty much you can use it all year round. And anytime that I'm on a lake where I would say it's a clear lake where there's spotted bass in there and I need something that can not only catch big fish, but I may need to go through numbers. The drop shot is gonna be one of my top picks. I always keep it right there on the deck, even if I'm throwing a crankbait, jig, or any other type of bait. Whenever I see those fish on that screen, gotta pick that drop shot up real quick. So some of the lakes that we fish where I use it a lot are definitely Lake Lanier, Lake Hartwell, Carter's Lake. Um, goodness, I can't believe I'm forgetting one of the lakes. Lanier, Carter's, Hartwell, oh, and Lake Russell. So. Let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Let's take a look at this setup. I'm pretty sure to help some of you guys out. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave those questions down in the comments. And as always, I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel, hitting that like button, because I'm dropping a lot of good information for you guys. Just show a little bit of appreciation. Hit that like button for me. Share the videos and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. All right, guys? All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get into my drop shot setup. All right, so the rod that I use is a Ducat 6.6, medium heavy. I also like it in the same length with the power of a medium. Um, I currently don't have one to show right now, but that's the other one that I use. I use that one when the bite is a little more finicky. I like using the medium heavy, um, especially whenever I'm dropping straight down into brush piles or into laydowns or anything that's going to require a little bit more power to get the fish out of it. Um, the line that I use is eight pound, and actually, let me go ahead and pull that out. All right, I like using eight pound Seaguar Red Label. I found that the Red Label is a little more um, abrasion resistant, and actually, it says it right there on the screen. I mean, I'm sorry, on the box itself. Um, let's see the eight pound line. I know sometimes I people use six. I used to use a six pound line, but um, I feel a little more confident with that eight pound, especially whenever I have to pull fish out of um, any type of cover. And did I say eight pound line seagull? Like um, some deep brush piles or things like that. All right, so let's go to the reel that I use. I like using the Fluger reel on my drop shot. I like using the, it's called the Presidential Lady SP30X. And basically all the difference between the Lady version is the color. This one has more of a, a bluish, bluish gray tint to it. And it has this um, maroonish or pinkish color to it. Um, to me, it helps me differentiate the reels whenever I need to reach down real quick and pick up my drop shot um, rod. Um, just being able to see that rod, it kind of, that reel, it stands out. So it makes it a lot easier for me to go ahead and grab that real quick. All right. So that covers the rod, the reel and the line. The other thing that I do on the line is, as you can see, you can see that yellow line in there. And basically that is 15 to 20 pound high vis yellow line. And I use that to allow me to see the line as it's dropping down into the water. I'll put a leader on here. That's the eight pound line right there. So that leader is eight pounds and it's generally, I would say around 20 to 25 feet long. And the reason why I set that at that length is because the fish are sometimes suspended. So if I'm dropping through some fish and I'm say I'm sitting in 30 feet of water, I don't want to give that braid a chance to get to where those fish are at because they will eventually see that line. So with putting that 20 to 25 pound leader on there, it gives me enough leeway to where I know that bait can go all the way to the bottom and I don't have to worry about that braid being shown to the fish. But it allows me to be able to see it kind of at the surface. 
Um, all right, so let's move on to the hook that I use. Basically, this is a swivel hook, the BMC spin shot, one aught size. And from there, you pretty much tie your, uh, your main line onto the top. Then you have this tag end. And with that tag end, you can make it a um, longer, shorter, depending on how the fish are acting on that particular day. Sometimes a longer leader, I mean, main tagline works. Sometimes it takes a shorter tagline. You just have to pretty much get out there and see what the fish are looking for. Um, with the weight itself. So the majority of the time, I'm going to use a very big half ounce cylindrical weight. That cylindrical weight is easy for me to pull in and out of any type of cover whenever I drop the bait straight down into it. Sometimes I will use a smaller weight whenever I want a a, a, a slower fall rate. For instance, if I'm fishing bridge pilings or if I am fishing fish that are fishing for fish that are in the top of trees or something like that, where I don't want that fast drop because I'm not going to let it go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to fish it right at the top of those trees wherever I've located those fish. All right, so let's see. I guess that covers everything, guys. Oh, some of you might ask about my um, line bag. I'll do a separate review on that. But basically, I just keep my, my line in here. allows easy access. Whenever I want to spool up on the boat, I can go ahead and spool the line right through there. Make it quick and easy. And that's it, guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the clips of me out on the lake catching fish with this setup. And I'll put a few links in the description of some tournaments where fishing with the drop shot was a key factor in me being able to place and gain more points and head towards that angle of the year and get a check at the weigh-in. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at those clips. Fish number four, and let's keep it going and get one more. Whew. Spot lock on. Somebody told me that drop shot catches small fish. Now, eight pound line. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but this fish came out of the water. Barely hooked, still got him. Now, this is a nice large mouth right here. Don't have my scale with me. But um, you guys put down in the comments what you think this thing weighs. Give me a second. Let me check and then I'm going to call you right back. Okay. All right. Oh man, working and catching fish at the same time. Oh, oh, oh. Goodness. And this thing was skin hooked. Look at that. Whoa.